Hello and happy Saturday, everyone. We are actually in the parking lot of Showcase of Citrus. We've been here a few times and I'll link the videos in the description down below, but we are leaving. <laughs> We're not gonna stay because we didn't realize they're having some kind of event and there are literally over like 200 people here. It's a very small location and nobody is wearing a mask. So you can kind of see like all of these people are, are very close together. Um, I know we're outside, but it just seems like if you're gonna be that close together in such like a confined space, you should probably still be wearing a mask. So I think we are probably gonna leave and head over to Celebration because Celebration is um, doing like a pumpkin patch and they just have some like fun stuff you can do in their downtown area. And that's kind of what we wanted to do here was check out their pumpkin patch and shop in their store. So they have, I don't even know if you'll be able to see it, but right over here, there's like a little store and they sell honey and different like local goods and um, just like cute Florida type things. It is the showcase of citrus, so they do sell a lot of citrus. Here's this little buddy, he just woke up from his nap. Say we were just sleeping when we were driving over what, here. What exactly is going on? And, and that's the other thing is like this parking lot is so tiny so we could barely get in and out of the parking lot. We will definitely come back to Showcase of Citrus on another day when they're not having like this big event um, because it is a really cool place to go and check out, just not when it's so super packed. So ding ding, you live and you learn, you know? Sometimes you gotta leave. Today was one of those days. So there it is from afar. You can kind of see what it looks like there, but yeah. It's too bad that we couldn't stay though because they did have a bunch of like food trucks that looked so delicious. So that's kind of a bummer that we don't get to have some delicious, delicious food truck food. But, and they also had some delicious, like they had an ice cream shop. Remember we got that that float the creamsicle. last time? It was a creamsicle, that's what it was. It was an orange creamsicle and it was so delicious. I'm gonna link that video down below, but we it was when I was very pregnant and we rode the monster truck through the like orange fields, the orange grove, and we had our creamsicles and it was just really good. So I highly recommend checking it out on a day where it's not super busy. And hopefully we'll be able to do that. Hopefully we'll be able to come back on a day where it's not super busy and have another creamsicle and buy a pumpkin. I just really wanted to bring this little guy to a pumpkin patch. That's what I wanted to do today. I wanted to cut, get a pumpkin and cut armholes and leg holes and a head hole in it uh -huh. and like have him wear it like a vest? I saw, <laughs> so, so I'm sure a lot of you are on Instagram and on Instagram on the explore page, I get a lot of like cute baby uh, posts and things like that. And there was this one that was this cute, it was the cutest little kid. Actually, there were a bunch of posts like this. So this must be like a thing that like Instagram moms do or maybe like Pinterest moms are doing, but they're putting their babies in pumpkins and it's so cute. But Jackson's so big. We'd have to get a really big pumpkin. Yeah, I don't know. We don't, yeah. We need that big pumpkin you were talking about the other day. Yeah. So he said that he saw a pumpkin at Publix that was, yeah, was Publix. like three times the size of my head. We'd need that one. All right, so we drove about an hour to get to Showcase of Citrus and um, not realizing that we were gonna just have to turn around, but Tim had to go to the bathroom. So he's running inside of the Publix down the street from the Showcase of Citrus. And now we are headed over to Celebration. I think I already told you that, but we're gonna meet up with Jim and Nicole because we were supposed to go with them to the Showcase of Citrus. So now we're gonna spend the day at Celebration with them instead. Right, buddy? Right, buddy? Yeah. Are you showing everybody your Triceratops that daddy won you at Animal Kingdom? Say we love our Triceratops, huh? Yeah, we do, we love it. Yeah, you took a nap with that and it was very cute. You were sleeping with it and it was the cutest thing. Is that Dada? And we're back. What do we do? I was telling them that you had to go to the bathroom. I had to go pee -pees. <laughs> I'm giving them a play-by-play. -play. So now we're headed out. Right, bud? You want your Triceratops? <laughs> Here he is. Or she. We don't know. Do you love it? Yeah. Yeah? All right, we did it. We made it to Celebration. We forgot to show you. We parked over by the electric spots. And the electric spots didn't work. Oh no. Eh, what are you gonna do? But we're having a very nice walk. Yeah. With Jim and Nicole. Hello. Hello. 
What? I don't know what we're doing. We're going to Celebration Town Center. Yeah. To look at pumpkins. And well, there's a pumpkin patch, right? Right. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. we think maybe leaves fall at night. Maybe. It's Possibly. Set up. I don't know what time they started. So, yeah. We'll see what happens. Yeah. It's an adventure. Yeah. Let's head down there. All right. Here we are on Market Street. You know what's really fun about this clock? What? One of the hands is a guy riding a bike. Oh, is it? Yeah. Huh? Neat. Mm -hmm. Oh, and a dog. The other hand's a dog. Side note, I've always wanted to ride one of these. How do they work? This is the main area, like Town Square. And let's see here, it says, streets close Saturday at 10 p.m. Oh, I think that's for them to set it up, maybe. But the businesses remain open. But look at these, uh, the fun, like, jack-o'-lanterns hanging. We'll have to try to figure out what happens down here. You can see strobe lights up here. During Christmas, they have like snow, which is just soap that sprays out onto the street. So I wonder what happens during Halloween. I think so. It just says Oktoberfest. Yeah, that's all that it says on the sign. It doesn't give any information. And then a another thing that's so sad is this used to be a place that sold cookie dough, edible cookie dough, like ice cream, but it was a cookie dough. Like you'd get a scoop of cookie dough on your ice cream cone. But not ice cream? How do you how do you explain that? A scoop of cookie dough and a cone? Yeah. But it's closed now. I'll leave a link to a video down below where we ate there and it was delicious and we're so sad that they're closed. Because we were just talking about we're hungry, we want to get something to eat. And we were like, where should we eat? The cookie dough place. Yeah. But they're gone. Oh, you can't see me, but I was frowning. Real quick side note, <laughs> we're wearing the new material masks that are oh, supposed yeah. to be easier to breathe through. I they're like also it. very hot. Is it? Mine's very hot on my face. Oh, I'm not hot, but I think I got the wrong size. So I think I'm a medium and you're a large. Oh, okay. So. Ding ding. So we stopped at Avocado Mexican Grill to get some food. And we're just sitting here at this table until, cause we got it to go. So we're gonna go find like a nice secluded place to eat. I think we're gonna try to eat somewhere over by the lake. Yeah. Or maybe over where there's just not as many people, I think. Jackson ate his dinner, but we also got him some chicken. Thank you so much. So we'll see. See yeah. how he does. Okay, we found a celebration hack. We are at the Market Street uh, Bistro, restaurant diner. here. Yeah. It's closed, but you can still you can sit outside. So we're sitting outside undercover because it started to rain. Just a little bit. And we have a, a feast going on. We got some chicken chimichangas, some chips and guac. This is I didn't realize how much this was. I, I honestly was like didn't think it was gonna be that big, big of a portion. Also, look, they give you all this stuff to go on your chimichanga too. Yeah. Oh. I got a beef chimichanga. You guys got they had some impossible meat for the taco salad. Yeah. Impossible taco salads. Look at that. So we're just having like a little friend picnic out in celebration. Bud, bud, you're having some snackies while we're eating, huh? Because you just ate your dinner. Uh oh, well, he did get. Oh yeah, we ordered him some chicken. We're not sure if it's gonna be too spicy, so we're gonna try it. Just a little seasoning. Yeah. All right, let's do it. It's very tender. Some good chicken. All right. All right, so we're all done eating our Mexican food. Mm -hmm. Super delicious. Yeah, if you're in celebration and you're looking for something to eat, I would definitely get, go to avocados. Yeah, I think it's just called avocado. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay, well, it was good. Now to the candy store. I know, so the last time we were here, we were here with you guys. Um, I was very pregnant and I wanted um, candy and we didn't get candy because I think it was very expensive. Yeah. But Oh, it was for my birthday. Oh, yeah. That's right. And it was you didn't like, get any candy. I know. I was like, well, it's too much. Let's not get it. But I think today I'm going to splurge. Yeah. I want a Buckeye. Meh. Yeah. <laughs> good stuff. Here's where we're going. Kilwins oh, and Nicole. Ice Ooh. Cream. Nicole tells us that this is an ice cream shop, not a candy shop. I thought it was, well, the last time we were here, all I saw was the candy. Yeah. South Florida. It's an ice cream shop. It's really everywhere. It's candy. Ooh, yeah. This is looking good. I'm on a diet. Ooh, I'm gonna get me some dark chocolate peanut butter drops. Oh wow. They like have little like gift sets. We got some pumpkin ice cream and this looks like, almost exactly like the ice cream that we got at Legoland. It even has the pieces in it. All right, Jen, so you got some of the pumpkin ice cream. I did, it's a little bit, it's a little bit milkshakey now because I needed to change Jackson so that took some time. Does it taste just like? This is the exact same ice cream that they had at Legoland. Yeah. They said it was homemade from scratch at Legoland. Did they? They lied. Uh oh. This is exactly the same. It's well, so somebody good. made it. I'm not sure right. I here's my question. 
So if somebody lives at a factory, yeah. is that a workaround? Can you say like... It's homemade. It's homemade. So you see the little pieces of the crust in there? Yeah. It's really good. Oh, so the ice cream was delicious. It was really huh? good. The the little pieces of, I think it was like little pieces of cookie yeah. inside. Yeah, that was it was harder than crust and less crumbly than crust. So it was like little tiny cookie pieces. Interesting. It was really delicious though. It's their like special fall flavor. So if you're going to Kilwins and you want ice cream, I would try it. But we also got some Buckeyes. Oh man. Oh wait, I don't know what that's not a Buckeye. They kept, so we called these turtles, but they're like, these are Tuttles. They called them Tuttles. Maybe Turtles is like a copywritten name or something. Maybe. I don't know. All right, we got one Buckeye. Yeah. Um, we got one peanut chocolate. Butter drop. Oh yeah, peanut butter drop. What's the difference? I don't know. That's why I wanted to. Try Yours it. is bigger. Yeah, I think it's like a peanut butter cake, maybe. Okay. This is a cashew Tuttle. And then I just got a chocolate covered pretzel. Which, by the way, this was like two dollars. Yeah, everything was very expensive in there. <gasps> I hope it's worth it. Oh yeah, and then the pretzel. Looks very good. See, so this area of town's very nice. This is celebration, but mm -hmm. everybody likes to rev their engines down here. Yeah, everybody has really loud cars. That's a motorcycle. Mm. You two got chocolate covered Oreos. What did you think? They were really good. It was super good. It was dark chocolate, so that usually means no milk or less milk. So if you really care, make sure you check, but we treated. Yeah. They were really good. They looked really cute. I'm sorry, what? Sorry, I have a uh, buckeye in my mouth. Did you guys, did you show them how it had the pumpkin on it? No. Oh, no. I showed it in the case. Did you, they had little pumpkins on them. They were very cute. This guy in his, like, his little infinity driving around. He's, he's very excited about yeah. telling people that he drives an infinity. So, Jen got a buckeye, which is just peanut butter. Oh, I didn't even show them. It's peanut butter sorry. <laughs> with um, powdered sugar mixed in together. Mm -hmm. And then you dip it in chocolate delicious so good this is a peanut butter drop i don't know what the difference is we'll bite it in half so we can see because i forgot to show them mine oh yours is just a bigger version of mine but you have more chocolate you got like rice krispies or something in it oh is it like crunchy mm -hmm. wow mm. that's good you guys you got to go to kill ones it's so delicious see this is called they call this a tuttle so it's a it's a cashew tuttle let's see does it got caramel in it mm. That's a turtle. It must be a copywritten name. Unless it's not really called a turtle and we're just like, we've just no, been calling it a turtle our it entire is, lives. It's a turtle. This is good. I think the buckeye was better. What if there isn't an R in it? Oh, there is. There is? All right. Delicious. Mm, you got chocolate on your face. Oh no, you have chocolate on your face. Mm -mm. How did I get it on the side of my face? <laughs> now we're headed down the street to try to find a pumpkin patch. Yes. So I wanted to try to get a picture of Jackson in the pumpkin patch. We're gonna dress him up like a pumpkin. Well, <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna dress him up like a pumpkin, but he's definitely gonna take a picture like with the pumpkin. What if they have a cut one pumpkin already cut out I feel for, like... for Instagram moments like this? Do you think? Maybe. I'd I do know. that. If I had a pumpkin patch, Yeah. one pumpkin, you could take your put your baby inside of it. I feel like in COVID times, that's a terrible idea. <laughs> what if what if it's an antibacterial, antimicrobial pumpkin? pumpkin. You never okay. know. Well, yeah. Sponsored by Lysol. I guess uh, you're right. <laughs> All right, we're going to this community Presbyterian church. To look at their pumpkin patch. They have a, a joke on their side. How do you cure a pumpkin spice addiction? Apply the pumpkin patch. Right? It's a knee slapper. They're helping, they're supporting the community hope center. Look at all these pumpkins. There are so many pumpkins here, buddy. What do you think of all these pumpkins? Are you waving at everybody? Say hi. Jackson. Hi. Hey, buddy. How are doing? Hi. My first Halloween photo shoot with the pumpkins. You want to do smile? Jackson. Sports utility stroller strikes again. We can carry our pumpkins in it. This is a, a great deal. These were, for all three of these, this one says my first Halloween. And then these two fun ones here, they look like almost pastel colors. Uh, actually, this one's kind of green and orange. Eh, you know, like a muted, muted pumpkin colors. It was $20 for all three of them here at the Community Presbyterian Church Pumpkin Patch. All right, we are back home. Jackson is asleep. Uh, I think he's gonna sleep really good tonight. He had a good time today. He was like out exploring, having a good time. Uh, but some of you guys suggested a cooler for me 
from Walmart, and that's this Ozark cooler. Used it tonight. It worked pretty good. Uh, I feel like the ice melted a little bit, but I mean, I feel like that's to be expected. Um, I don't know. I'm excited to try it at the parks and see how it does like out in the hot sun because we were outside all day today, but it wasn't like in the sun like we're at the parks. So I'll let you know. We have a park day coming up real soon. So we'll see how this one does at like Disney or something like that. All right, now it's time for the spookiness. We're gonna watch The Haunting of Bly Manor. I was looking out of the corner of my eye at my hand doing this on the screen. It looks spooky. Did we show them our pumpkins? I showed them in the, in the, I almost call it a go-kart. <laughs> I showed them when they were in the go-kart, in the stroller. Oh, okay. What if it was a little go-kart? The stroller? Should they make like a powered stroller? So I... like, do they have, okay, question. Question. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, do they have powered uh, golf club carts? Like a golf cart? No, not a golf cart. Like you know how when you're when you're golfing, you can either take the cart or you can walk, and they have carts that the golf club bag goes in. Oh, that you like drag behind you. You drag like it's got wheels on it. You push it forward. Yeah, it's like yeah. a stroller. Okay. Do they have a powered one? I'm sure somebody does. Do they have a powered stroller? I, that seems dangerous. Well, I mean, is it? I mean, I it's just... not like cruise control. You don't like set it and forget it. You have to have your hand on it. Okay. You get like a like a jet ski where you like attach to your to your vest, is and it if like... it like goes away, it turns off. It's like breaks. a like a a lawnmower that has self assist. Yeah. Okay. The more you squeeze it, the faster it goes. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't use that. Yeah, I guess I wouldn't either. <laughs> okay. If I had the jet ski thing. The cord, like you have on a jet ski. Okay. Um, yeah, let's watch this spooky show. Yeah. The Haunting of Bly Manor. Do it. What do we call it? The Haunting of Haunting Haunt. The Haunted of Haunty Haunt. <laughs> Real quick, before we do that, Jen told me that she read a story that Adam Sandler said. Oh, okay. So I didn't watch the Hubie Halloween movie the other night when Tim watched it. It was good. It was, it was very enjoyable. But I read an article that was ranking like the new movies on Netflix and whether you should watch them or not. And they got to the Hubie Halloween movie and they said, don't watch it. It's not worth a watch. And I just remember you saying you liked it, but then I read why. How was why. it not worth a watch? Well, I read why. It said that Adam Sandler said that if he was snubbed during, I think, the Oscars for his Uncut Gems role, which, by the way, he did great in Uncut Gems. I thought he, like, that was, like, a fantastic movie. Yeah, he did real a, good. He did a great job. I like, I like him in a serious role. But he said that if he were snubbed for that role for, for the, the, Oscars, like the Oscars, yeah, that he was going to make the worst movie ever. <laughs> and, then he, and then he made Hubie Halloween. Which... Okay, number one, who's to say what's worth somebody's time? I think he was just saying, like, fine, if you don't want to see me in this, then I'm no, going to no. make the worst movie ever. Yeah, you, the Ned, the guy that was doing the list said it wasn't worth your time to watch it. I mean, it's just, it's, it's the same thing of, like, watching us. Like, why listen to us? Right, that's what I'm you, saying. Who's to say you, what's worth your time? Well, because you, you relate to this person, you've, you've, they're tried and true, like, you've tested... So because I've listened to Adam Sandler's comedy when I was 15. No, like if you liked the person who wrote the article, if you're like, okay, I trust this guy. I don't like, trust him. I, he said this movie was good. I thought that movie was good. He said this show was good. I thought that show was good. So if he says not to watch this, I probably won't waste my time. Who was it? Was it Peter? Peter. <laughs> no, it was some okay. guy from Vulture. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't trust him. Okay. Um, uh, several days later. <laughs> yeah, so we filmed this video last Saturday. It's been almost a week. We, I, I don't even know how I forgot about this this day. Right. I forgot to edit this video. So, sorry about that. But we had a lot of fun at the pumpkin patch. Oh, it yeah. It was so, so cute. Oh. Sorry. Uh, Jackson was, like, stirring. <laughs> we were just talking about it, and you made a really good point. So he, sorry, this is totally off topic and has nothing to do with what we were just talking about, but I wanted to share it. Um, so he's been waking up. He's been not sleeping super well sometimes sometimes he sleeps great sometimes he doesn't but he will just sit up yeah and he'll and, I'm, and i asked him i'm like why does he do that he'll like make a little bit of noise and then he'll just like sit straight up yeah and so what did you say because he like in his mind the magical like a magical like being comes in and puts <laughs> him back to sleep so every time he sits up we go up there and put him back to sleep yeah, like so that's pat how... his butt or you know rub his back or whatever it is to get him to go back to sleep. So he thinks so that's he... how you go back to sleep. <laughs> so, 
Uh, yeah, so we need to figure that out. Um, anyway, back to what we were saying though. So Jackson's asleep now, but we were talking about how we forgot about this footage. Oh we, yeah. We forgot about this day. This was like the lost day. And so, um, sorry, this is like a week old video, but at the end of the video, we watched The Haunting of Bly Manor. And we finished it we since did. then. But I wanted to talk about it, like non-spoilery talk about right. it. Right. So I thought it was really good. I liked how all the loose ends got tied up. Mm -hmm. You know everything you need to know about everything that's going on. Uh -huh. And then the thing that I didn't like is that the last episode ended with like a 1990s sitcom intro. Did it? Oh yeah, yeah. it did. <laughs> it was like... <laughs> yeah, I didn't really like the... I liked the whole series. The, there were some parts that were very spooky and very... Like there were some jump scare type things. Mm -hmm. It was like a scary... I thought it was like a scary series. I was reading a lot of things that people were saying that the first Haunting of Hill House was scarier. And I, I think... Yeah. I think I need to rewatch that. Yeah. Because I really don't remember... I remember one scare being very scary, but I don't remember the whole entire series being very scary. Well, there was one scare in this one that was really yeah, scary. I thought I I thought there were a few that were pretty like jump scare type scares. Yeah. But I will say too, I didn't like the last episode. No. It ended too happy. Well, it, what it felt like was they're like like sewing and like weaving this huge intricate story and they're like, "Ah, I ran out of time." wrap it up come on come on come on come on run and so there was like this the last episode is like everything yeah like literally everything right wrapping up they're like oh no we only have 10 episodes like we're on the 10th episode yeah shoot <laughs> i i didn't love the last episode though but even not even just them wrapping it all up very quickly i just i didn't like the way that it ended it was such like a it felt like too happy of an ending. Right. Even though it wasn't like a super happy ending, but the way that they wrapped it up was kind of like, and they all were fine. Yeah. And it was like, were they? Like, was it? I watched the whole thing. They weren't fine. Yeah. I don't know. So, I don't know. I liked it, didn't love it. Probably wouldn't. I, I probably would not watch it again. I might rewatch it again, just because there are characters in there that I'd like to watch again like okay. more closely <laughs> okay i could see that yeah also the background action i was paying a lot of attention to it because of the first one where it was like the haunting of hill house there's a lot of ghosts in the background mm -hmm. there are ghosts in the background of this one but for some reason it felt like there was only one that i ever saw so i was i wanted to rewatch it to see if there was more yeah and like maybe that one was just obvious uh, some people were saying that you needed to pay attention to the statue garden Okay. Like the statues were like ghosts, but I don't, I don't, I don't remember seeing any of that. Well, I mean, I remember seeing the, the same ghost out in the garden. Okay. Often. Well, I don't know. So yeah, maybe I probably wouldn't watch it again. You can watch it again and tell me what you find out. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, but all in all, I thought we had a really good day. Like we had a lot of fun. Did you just steal my all in all line? <laughs> I'm sorry. But all in all, okay. and with that being said. <laughs> I love the pumpkin patch, by the way. I posted a picture on my Instagram where we of this day where we were in, at the pumpkin patch, and a lot of you were asking where we went. And so we went to the Community Presbyterian Pumpkin Patch in celebration, and I would 100% go back there. Yeah. Like, it was so well, cute. Well, they what? didn't have a microbacterial pumpkin. Oh, to put your baby in? Put your baby in. <laughs> and they weren't, they weren't sponsored by Lysol. <laughs> um, how about the part where I was editing and I noticed the... Did you guys see the part where Jackson was like an angel? Yeah. He was like lined up perfectly with the angel wings and I was like, are you an angel? Did you know that that was like I shot that like off like just holding the camera? I know. It was perfect. Like down at my hip? What the heck? That little Who buddy. Knew? I know. He's a he's little... An angel. Are you an angel? <laughs> Want to go pod racing? You guys like pod racing? <laughs> um, so yeah, that was awesome. I would for sure go back there. Um, I loved it. The pumpkins were a great price and it, they had all these little cute like places to take pictures and little Instagram spots. It was awesome. Yeah. Highly recommend. Yeah. But all in all, <laughs> it was a fantastic day mm -hmm. with good food, good friends and good pumpkins. Yeah. So with that being said, we are off. We'll see you all tomorrow. Now it's time to help. 
And so today's organization, because we went to the community Presbyterian pumpkin patch, they were, um, they were helping out the community hope center. So we showed you the sign that I don't know if all of the proceeds go to the community hope center, but um, some of them do at least. Mm -hmm. And so while we were there, we actually made a donation as well. But the community hope center is, there was an article that was written about the hotels, um, motels on 192 yeah. and about how they were, um, these people are just living in just terrible conditions. And a lot of them were put into this situation because of covid and so i didn't realize that this was e that this was even going on right. like after after reading this article and if i can find the article i will link it in the description so you can read it too if you haven't already read it but it was so just eye-opening and it was just it was really um I just, I just didn't know that this was happening like right literally outside of the Disney bubble. Also, we haven't seen the Florida Project yet. We need to, that's something we still need to watch, but I know that it's a very like emotional and like a very sad movie. So it just hasn't been high on my list to watch, but uh, one of the motels was actually featured in the Florida Project, if right. you're familiar with that. So, um, but I wanted to read you a little bit about the Community Hope Center. So it's a program-based project that impacts the low-income poverty-level families and individuals living in and around Osceola County in Florida. The primary emphasis is to serve those living homeless or in motels and hotels along the 192 corridor. The Hope Center restores dignity and self-sufficiency to those in need in our community through a holistic approach in case management, funds assistance, and life skills. So I'll leave a link to the Community Hope Center in the description down below if you'd like to learn more about how they're helping people in Orlando and just more about what they're doing for the community. Um, so please check that out if you get a second. And thank you so much for watching this video.